stuff. All right, man. Uh, sorry. You guys good? Yeah. Congrats, man. Yeah, thank you. Uh, best Bellator win so far for you? For sure. So I, I spoke to your cousin earlier today, to Josh, right? Nice, yeah. And he was asking about the fight, and I said, look, man, I really feel like this is one he needs to just go out there and just, like, waste a guy yeah, and sure. prove a point. And did, did you kind of have that attitude coming into this? Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I just switched camps. I'm in, at Fortis MMA in mm -hmm. Dallas, Texas. And, I, you know, I feel like I'm just kind of rejuvenated. Um, I'm not taking anything from AK. You know, AK gave me so much and, and a lot of experiences, and I got to learn from a lot of high-level guys. But for me, man, I, I felt like I needed a change. I, I felt like I was kind of stagnant, and um, not because of the training, just because of everyday, everyday life. And, you know, I went to, to SAFE at um, Fortis and started training with a lot of those guys and started learning different things. And I feel like that's something you guys got to see tonight. And, I mean, this is just the beginning. You know, I, I took that fight with just about five months training there. And, you know, every day I felt like I was getting a lot better. Every day I felt like I was learning a lot. You know, I have some of the best training partners in the world now with Ramiz and Jeff and Alex Morono. And I'm just blessed, man. I'm, I'm happy I got to come out here and do what I did. How much of the move uh, had to do with, you know, at least being closer to Oklahoma rather than, you know, a couple hour flight? Yeah, I mean, of course. Um, I've been a family man my whole life. You know, family means more to me than anything. And I get really passionate when I talk about my family. I've had nothing but you know, just positive, positive role models in my life. And that's something that I needed to get back to. And um, my daughter, man, my daughter lived in uh, Texas. So I was doing the back and forth for three years. And that, that's not something that, you know, my father taught me. That's not something how I was raised. And I feel like it was getting to me, like mentally, you know, I, I wasn't able to focus on what I needed to focus on. So now that I'm there, and like I said, man, I, I got, I'm surrounded by so many good guys there. And um, and now I get to spend time with my daughter every day, and that's something that's important to me. At the, at the time, was she young enough where she didn't quite realize that, that Daddy was gone all the time yet? Yeah, but I always said, man, maybe she didn't know, but I knew, yeah. you know, and, and that's something that weighed heavy on my heart. And, uh, you know, I, I lost a relationship because of it, and, and I spent a lot of time out there. I spent five and a half years of my life, you know. When you start getting to your, your, your late 20s and early 30s, I feel like it's time to kind of start getting yourself set up for – you know what's next you know and I'm very focused on fighting but at the same time I'm trying to focus on you know how I'm gonna build a life and how I'm gonna have you know a wife and more kids and, and things like that I'm an old soul man so classic uh, Oklahoma right there right born and raised <laughs> um, talk to me about the last one and, and how huge it was to be able to get one back you know you had momentum before the Willis fight and uh, had that one gone your way and you add that one to tonight, I feel like suddenly you're looking at like main yeah, I mean, card kind of thing. I mean, so. yeah, for sure. You know, that's my sixth, I think it's my sixth win in Bellator. I started in a high level promotion at 4 0. You know, a lot of these dudes don't even make changes and are, are into organizations like this until they're in their teens and fighting, like they're 19, 18, 16, whatever. So I started this pretty early. And, you know, and, and, but I, I'm somebody that, you know, I work my ass off. I work hard every day. I don't just do, you know, camps. I don't just do one a day. You know, I'm doing two or three a day every day. You know, this is my job, and I, and I, t and I take full responsibility in everything that I do. And, um, you know, I, I, I don't like to think about the past. I wrestled thousands of matches from the time I was in fifth grade, sixth grade to the time I graduated college. I lost, you know. I lost multiple times. But I also won a shit ton. So me winning is, is something that's in my blood, and I'm going to continue to do. So as far as my fucking ass can go in that cage and, and, and scrap, I have a shot to win, and especially moving to Fortis MMA with the coaches I have now and the, the training partners. There's not going to be a lot of people that intimidate me. Do you kind of look at this now as like a chapter two? Like the AKA era was, was great, and it gave you some building blocks, and then this is kind of like, you know, middle school to high school or high school to college, and now, now you're ready to yeah, turn Yeah, I mean, you can look at it page. like that. You can look at it like that. It's, it's hard for me to say I closed a chapter on AK because I'm still friends with those yeah. guys. So it's just, like I said, man, I needed a change, and it wasn't to do with anything but personally. And, you know, when I, I see myself in a nice home, you know, with a, with a wife and kids and, and all that good stuff. So... It just didn't seem like I was going to be able to accomplish that living in San Jose, California. And not because of anything, but if you go look at the houses, they're all fucking million dollars. So, 
tough place to to do it compared to Dallas. Yeah, gas but. seven dollars. You're yeah. living in a shithole, so uh, not San Jose, just the house I was in. <laughs> uh, talk to me about about what's next because it feels like things can move in a different direction when you get a finish like that compared to if it was just kind of a grind out. I just feel like I want my respect. You know, like, I, I beat a lot of good dudes. I mean, if you go look at the records of the last five, six dudes I fought, I don't even think I'm in the teens and them all losing. You know, like, they've all had great records. They all have, you know, like, that dude fought in the UFC, and the dude I beat from Sweden fought in the UFC, and then I fought a dude that was 9-0 with nine knockouts that the whole time I see him shaking his fucking hand and, like, praising him, and I'm sitting over here kind of like chopped liver. I fought at midnight, you know, and... I'm 30 years old. I've been in the company for four years. I just feel like I get a little bit disrespected because of my background with the wrestling, but I hope they see it tonight. Now, if I put my fucking hands on you, you're going to go to sleep too. So I just, like I said, added another element to my game, and now everyone should kind of be fucking paying attention. So Yeah, for sure. Uh, and then last one for me. Talk to me about that delay because, uh, I mean, I, I don't know. Like, the, is that what, like a four-hour difference for you? Yeah, I mean, I was here at five, man. I fought at midnight. Um, Any temptation to just go back to the hotel? And no, just no, no. We, man, if if you were in our back, the back room with us, I mean, it was super relaxed. I mean, honestly, I just I met these coaches six months ago, so you know, we were in the back chopping it up about so many things that you know you're supposed to know about people and things that you can ask each other. And I look at it as now, you know, I got to be closer to my coaches and you know, building a little bit more of a, um, I guess you would say a camaraderie, but yeah, man, I enjoyed it. You know, now when you win, you don't really give a shit about what happened today. So except that. Congrats, man. Thank you. I just have one. Um, Carl Moore was in here a few minutes ago and told us that Bellator compensated him for having to fight after. Is that something you also got? Yes. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, me too. The first person that said that. Everyone loves this. Not supposed to ask me that in front of everybody, and I got to pay more percentages. <laughs> Wait, it could it could have been like pizza or something. It didn't have to be money, right? No, it has to be money. And maybe throw another fifty on top of that knockout. That'd be nice. Walking out of here with a lot of money. Yeah. Thanks, bro. Thank you. <laughs>